I want to congratulate you all for being able to adapt so quickly to the different places and climates that we've been exposed to the past few days. One day we're yodeling in the Alps, the next, who knows? Well, we know we're somewhere in Mexico because we go to Mexico City before we leave. Why, Captain? That's right. Look around. Do you see anything interesting? Just a small village and a big mountain right over there. Where? <laughs> there! <laughs> it looks like it comes out from nowhere. That's very observant of you. This is the only volcano whose birth was witnessed by modern man. I knew it. It's the Perikin volcano. I read about this in class last year. It started out a crack in the corpse of 1943 and kept erupting for the next nine years. Wow, Shelly, that's not something we would say. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, guys, before we head on on a hike today, we need to go grab our side lunch from the cook. <laughs> And has anybody seen my clipboard? I must have sat down for breakfast. Is this it? That's it. Thanks, Maria. You've been a little bit quiet this morning. Are you okay? I've thought a lot about the ABCs we thought we talked about yesterday. I asked Ethan a bunch of questions. Questions are good. Well, I knew the facts about Jesus for a very long time. I knew all the books of the Bibles. I knew a lot of verses, but I thought there was something missing. And do you know what that something is? I think it's the power you were talking about. When I when I seen your clipboard, I couldn't resist to see what was on the first page. What did you read? It was the story of how Jesus died to pay for our sins. How did that make you feel? Well, at first I was very sad because it wasn't fair at all for him to die like that. And then I started reading more and more, and then I see that then then I became happy because, well, he didn't stay dead. He kind of rose from the dead, and he's actually alive right now. That's right. The love of Jesus is so powerful that not even death can stop it. The greatest, the most wonderful thing a person can experience is having the love of God. I want to know that love, Captain. I want to know more than just the words of the person. Yeah best news for you. He wants to know you too. All you have to do is ask him. Can we do it now? Now's the best time. Dear God, it's me, Maria. I'm sorry for all... I admit that I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for all my mess-ups. I'm sorry for talking about you, but really never talking to you. I believe that Jesus is your son, and I know that he died on the cross for my sins to be forgiven. And I also know that he rose from the dead, and he's still alive today. I want Jesus to be my Savior and my Lord of my life. And God, please help me have the courage to tell others about you. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That was beautiful, Maria. Welcome to the family. Thank you, Captain. I want to tell the team. I'll catch you in a few minutes. Thank you, God. This is the adventure I was hoping for. You are so awesome, God. Your power is amazing.